What is going on YouTube? We're gonna be talking about Dunkirk in this video. Oh my God, what an experience. I was able to check this movie out in 70 millimeter. Let me tell you that watching it with the actual film reel made it feel even more authentic, even more real. It was just so cool to sit in the movie theater, hear the, the projector go off. That on its own was a, a an experience. I just love the way Christopher Nolan directs a film. I love uh, the way he tries to tell a story. It's what automatically intrigued me to watch Dunkirk. Not much dialogue going on, but each scene captures this intensity. Uh, when you see the planes, you hear them coming. It's just, it's, it reminded me of watching Jaws as a kid and hearing the little theme song for the shark and knowing that the shark was going to come attack the humans. It was just something that extreme. Hearing the planes coming is like, oh shit, it's over. You know, because the planes, at, at, at the end of the day, the planes had the advantage of just mopping everyone out. It was just, it was just so much fear with the plane coming in. Every scene the plane was coming into this film, it was unforgettable. Unforgettable. This is a movie that will be talked about for quite some time. I'm just obsessed with Christopher Nolan's work and this movie does not disappoint on any level whatsoever. Watching a war film is always about the battle glory and just winning the war. What's being won here is each and every life that has been saved. You feel it at the end. It's a triumph just to survive. The three main ways the story is told by the trenches, by sea, by air, one week, one day, one hour. It was an interesting way to tell this story. It also brought even more intensity to an already intense story. The performances throughout the film, you know, Harry Styles, Cillian Murphy, the main actor of the film, which I forget his name, Tom Hardy, the list goes on. Everyone put on a performance. This is a movie that we won't soon forget. 400,000 men couldn't get home, but home came came to them that is such a big story arc in this film got goosebumps my eyes got a little watery my analogy for christopher nolan and hans zimmer is michael jordan and scotty pippen because these two when they unite it's just it's it's just amazing their work together just goes hand in hand it feels like hans zimmer's uh score for this film adds another layer you know, of intensity and, and storytelling. I would love to buy the soundtrack for this film, to be honest. This, this is another film that I would like to add to my soundtrack collection. The score is a character on its own, just phenomenal. I tend to not really enjoy war films, and this is a movie that surprised me because I do love this movie for a movie on its own. Uh, again, not much dialogue, but it's a movie that didn't need it. I enjoyed every second watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys like Dunkirk or if you guys plan on watching it sooner or later. Thanks for watching. Peace.